Funimation has announced the home video and streaming rights for one of the strongest in the world, known as Sekai de Ichiban Tsuyoku Naritari in Japan, or Sekatsuyo for short. This no holds barred sexy wrestling series comes to you from the studio behind Iki Tosen, Dragon Destiny, and Queen's Blade. The series will be released on Blu-ray and DVD in 2015 with an English dub, and all English subtitled episodes will be available today at 12 p.m. CT on their site. Fan group Rubber Underdog aims to bring the Dragon Ball world to life in a way that's never been attempted before, while still staying true to the characters in the story. And they're starting with a live-action adaptation of the history of Trunks. A follow-up from July's preview is offered, offering the latest look. Episode 1, coming soon, will be Gohan and Trunks facing off against the evil android to save as many human lives as possible in a world where all hope is lost. Being one of the last heroes left, young Trunks must grow up quickly and learn from his master Gohan so he can save the fate of the world. Robot Underdog is creating a fan-made non-profit pilot episode for a live-action Dragon Ball Z web series. The storyline will be an adaptation of History Trunks, which I'm very pleased with because it's one of my favourite stories and is planned on bringing the Dragon Ball world to life in a way that's never been attempted before, or staying true to the characters in the story. All of our Dragon Ball Z content is purely conceptual material made for fans by fans, and is not commercial use of any sort. It is our goal to be able to use the pilot episode and all other materials of pitch to get the rights for the rest of the web series or potentially larger products. So please help us out by sharing, commenting, and liking. The more support we have, the more likely we are to be picked up. Well, we want to keep making Dragon Ball Z content, and with you guys, help it's possible. This is what they've said, so please go on, on to robotunderdog.com and go and support them in any way they can, because this would be awesome. May Digi TV has posted a look at the dress rehearsal of the Dangen Ronpa, the stage Kibon no Gaiken to Zetsubo no Kokosei, a theatrical production based on PSP Adventure Mystery, Dangen Ronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. Cornflakes will be presenting it at Nihon Shinkan's main hall in Tokyo from October 29th to no November 3rd. So if you're in Japan right now, go take a look. In Maricot news, in addition to the three new characters, Link, Tunaki Mario, and Cat Peach, Maricot 8's DLC Pack 1 includes four carts and eight courses. One of those is the self-explanatory Excite Bike Arena, and you can see it in all its hum glory in the trailer. DLC Pack 1 will be available to download next month for $7, around £4. And finally, one of the promised Pokemon X and Y distributions is here, with participating GameStop stores now offering a special code that unlocks Diancy. The distribution runs through November 16th, and players will be able to transfer Diancy to Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. When the full remake hits Nintendo 3DS on November 21st. When the time comes, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire players will be able to take Diancy to a Pokemon Center in the game and get a Diancy Sight Mega Stone to turn Diancy into a Mega Diancy. And that's all the anime news for today. Tune in next time for more news and leave a comment on any news you think should be featured in the next episode.